What's up guys? It's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder and today I'm going to be showing you how to add and launch um, applications and widgets from your lock screen while also protecting your phone using lock screen free. So um, this app is available on the Play Store for free. It looks like this right here and um, you can just install it, let it download and then open it right up. And then um, you'll see this screen, and you'll just want to hit activate. It's just going to ask for um, device administrator access, and it's you just don't need to worry about it. So just hit activate, and then it'll give you these little tips. So if you want to disable another lock screen, obviously if you have that, um, disable password, etc., etc. Yeah, I mean you can read it for yourself and then do it. So just hit OK. It'll tell you what it updated in the, the latest version. Hit OK. And here's where we're going to start messing around with with um, with the stuff. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to obviously want to create a password. So we're just going to go here, hit password. You'll be given these default apps, which you can change at a later time, which we'll, I'll be showing you later on. But just for now, I'm just going to go straight line down. It's going to ask you to enter it again. Straight line down. So that's my password. Um, the cool thing about this is you can obviously add a bunch of apps up to 20. So we're going to go to Pass Programs List, and we're going to select and deselect the apps. So I don't want Play Store or Google Play Music or Music Player or Media Hub. So obviously you uncheck what you don't want, and then you're going to check what you do want. So I'm just going to start adding. These are obviously apps that I use a lot, so I want them to be easily accessible from my phone and from my lock screen. So instead of having to open it and search for it, I can just have access to all of my favorite apps right in one place. As you can see, I have a lot of games that I'm putting on here just for fun. Um, and then once you reach your max, it'll say, obviously, max program count selected. So I have too many apps. It stops me from adding anymore. So I'm just going to go back. There are my 20. Now you're automatically going to have to enter in a new password because obviously your passcode changed because you added more. So I'm still just going to go with a straight line. Obviously you're going to want something better than that, but I'm just doing this for demonstrative purposes. And then we can go back. Oh, straight line. Straight line. There you go. I don't know what happened there. And you can also move the icons around. So if you, I don't know, if you just in case, you can just tap it and then drag it to wherever you want it to go. So if I want to move my calculator all the way down here, I'll do that. And that's where it that's where it ends up. Same thing with Google Chrome. It's pretty cool. And then obviously again you're gonna hit back and it's gonna ask you to enter in a new password. So let's do something a little more complicated. You're gonna have to do it again. And there you are. So that's my my new password and I've added my icons and I can move them around. You can move them around in the icons position and you can add and change from the programs list. Um, now, you can also add contacts and widgets. So it's not just applications that you can add. So if you go here, you can add favorite numbers. So if you have a contact, you can just click here, add the contact, it'll show up in, let's just have, I have some fake numbers here. Megan Fox, I'll add her. She's my favorite, and I'll select that, and I'll go favorite numbers. Now that I have 20 apps and I'm past my, my app limit, it'll actually make me, there it goes. There is no space for an icon. Reset settings, you're going to hit yes. It's going to send you back to the default, but this star is now the my favorite. So that's Megan Fox's number. So now I'm going to have to set up a new password. I'll just do a straight line again, and there you have it. You can also add widgets, and you can find that, where actually can you find that? Right here, that's going to be under appearance, you tap widgets, you hit add, you select whatever widget you want, I'm going to do flipboard, and then that should be checked, and then I'm going to go back, and that's really it, those are the, I mean those are the things that you can add, and now I'm just going to show you kind of how it works. You can also add, speaking of things you can add, a wallpaper. And you just go to appearance again, you can see it right here. 
wallpaper. You can select from your desktop, you can select from your gallery, or you can select from the collections that they have. And that was a pretty cool one, so let's just do piece. You just tap it, and then you hit back, and then that's selected. Hit back again, and now everything's set up. We're just going to make sure that this is checked. That's the enable lock screen. We're going to lock it, and then I'm going to show you guys exactly what you can do to open it. So, now that screen is locked, my password is straight down, and it'll open my phone. Now, if I want to open to a specific app, make sure it locks. You have to wait like a couple seconds. If I want to open to a specific app, I can do my passcode, which is straight down, never let go of the phone, so you're going to want to keep holding it, and then I can drag to whatever app that I want. So, Google Maps. And then it'll launch Google Maps. So, let me show you that again. You enter a new passcode, but don't let go, and then you go to the app doesn't matter which one, you can go in 18 circles, it doesn't matter, and then the last one that you end up on, this is the internet, it'll open to. So it's pretty cool, it's really quick to launch. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed the Flipboard widget up there at the top, but um, obviously you just tap on that and it'll take you to Flipboard after you've selected your passcode. So, there you have it. I mean, those are the, the basic things that you need to know. It's really useful. It's super cool. It's free. There is a pro version, which you can unlock by tapping on these annoying ads right here. And then you can just select, obviously, buy premium. Um, and the premium version, it says it right here, disables all ads, um, gives you new application styles, and allows you to have a, a flashlight on your, your lock screen. And if you just get tired of it and you want to uninstall it, you just enter into the app and then you go right here to uninstall. You tap that. You have to select your reason. You can't you can't delete it without selecting your reason, which is super annoying to me. But anyways, you just click that, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then you hit delete and it will delete it for you. So that's really it. It's um, lock screen free. It's available for free in the Play Store. There is a pro version, but I think the, the free version is perfectly adequate for most people. So just make sure to check it out and start quick launching your app favorite applications right from your lock screen. So also make sure to check out the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 Softmodder and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks guys.